The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 14th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side. While he dismissed the crowds, and after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up to the mountain by himself to pray. And when evening came, he was there alone. But by this time, the boat, battered by the waves, was far from land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning he came, walking towards them on the lake. But when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened and began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying, you of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. Here ends the Gospel reading. Praise to you, O Christ. Please join me in prayer. Dear Lord, may the words you place in our hearts take root. Help us to see your vision for our lives and those you guide us to love. In your name we pray. Amen. Again this Sunday, we have a very familiar gospel reading. The image of Peter sinking once he takes his eyes off Jesus is an easy one for us to visualize. We have all had major storms in our lives. Some of them we have found waves, ways to navigate on our own. Others we know that only through prayer and the help of our Lord have we survived. Some of the storms in our lives are more like hurricanes. We find ourselves in fierce storms, followed by brief periods of calmness before the storm returns again. Most of us have been affected by the loss of a loved one, loss of a job, or a significant health diagnosis. It is often hard to keep our focus on Jesus when dealing with physical and emotional pain. Just as Jesus immediately reached down and rescued Peter, we know in our hearts that the Lord will do the same for us. There are times when we ask, why, Lord, have you placed this burden on me? Sometimes it is a very long time before we begin to understand the Lord's plan for us. It is important for us to keep our hearts and minds open. The rescuing hand of Jesus often comes in many forms. Sometimes there are people who are put in our lives to walk with us as we go through these trying times. Sometimes there are paths that are better made clear by our prayer and by the guidance of our Lord. Still other times, God shows us that our suffering and our strength during it have inspired others to continue on. When we keep our focus on Jesus, his love and his strength becomes ours. From our hymn of the day, we hear one of the key processes to keep our focus on Jesus. Verse 5 of hymn 685 reads, Take my will and make it thine. It will be no longer mine. Take my heart it is thine own, it shall be 
thy royal throne. If we surrender our hearts and our minds and use the gifts that God has given us to do the things that Jesus has taught us, how can we not keep our focus on Jesus? We are all aware that each year, thousands of accidents and hundreds of deaths on the roadways occur due to distracted driving. It only takes a minute for an accident to occur. Peter found out that shortly after he took his eyes off Jesus and allowed fear to overtake him, that he was in peril. For us, when we allow the world and its problems to distract us, we often find ourselves in peril. Our second reading today, found in your bulletin, is from Romans chapter 10. In verse 8 we read, The word is near you, on your lips and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart, and so is justified. One confesses with the mouth, and so is saved. Paul has shared with us exactly how Jesus will rescue us. The belief in our heart and the confession from our lips are all we need to be saved, both from the storms in life and for all eternity. Through God's grace. Once Jesus rescued Peter, he says to him, you of little faith, why did you doubt? Peter had just seen Jesus feed over 5,000 with five loaves and two fish. He had seen him heal the sick and cast out demons. So yes, why doubt? We too have seen in our lives the Lord's love for us and the many blessings that are in our lives and those that we love. We know that storms will come. Keep your eyes on Jesus, take his hand, and be rescued. And when it is your turn, you be that angel sent to walk with and rescue the person who needs Jesus and needs you. Amen. We continue with our hymn of the day in your bulletin, which is 685, Take My Life That I May Be.